Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am doing this highly requested Halloween look from you guys and if you guessed Harley Quinn, then you are correct. So I've already washed my face and then did my pigtails and I even spray painted one of them. And don't worry, I am not completely naked, so sorry for that. <laughs> so let's get started. Unfortunately, I don't have a costume for this, but let's focus on the makeup. So I decided to do the classic Harley Quinn look with a twist. And as you can see here, I am using this nose and scar wax to cover my eyebrows. And as usual, I will have all the products written down below. Now that I've set my eyebrows, I'm going in with this Ben Nye Spirit Gum. So pretty much I am using this to outline a mask. And this will also help the scar wax to adhere onto my skin better. I was kind of scared to apply this right on my eyebrows. So as you can see, I just did it underneath it. So now going back to the nose and scar wax, I'm taking probably like a dime size and I'm just rolling this. And as you can see, there's like that worm looking thing and this is actually going to be the outline of the mask. And you're pretty much just going to repeat that step and make sure you put it right on top of the spirit gum like so. And here I took my spatula and I'm kind of blending the wax onto my skin like so. I just really wanted the mask to look like it's part of my skin. I'm pretty much leaving a dent on this thing because I want that lifting effect later on. And as you can see, I'm doing the same thing on the inside part. I'm just pretty much blending that into my skin. So I was having trouble rolling the wax with my fingers and I just got my palette and covered it in foil and so look at that. So smooth looking right there. So like I said earlier, just keep repeating that step till you have that mask outline. Then once you have completed that, you can go ahead and get your spatula one more time and blend in the sides and the corners just like on the other side. This step alone took me about 10 to 15 minutes. So you really want to do this first before you apply the makeup. And you really want to apply these kind of products on clean skin because if you already have foundation, it might not adhere on the skin. So after blending, let's go ahead and move on to the rest of the face. I'm taking Benefit Professional Face Primer and I'm applying that pretty much all over my face except the areas where I applied the scar wax. And you want to make sure you have primer on because we are going to have so much makeup for this tutorial and if you want to wear this all night then yes you gotta have primer. I'm using a translucent powder and I'm applying that on top of the scar wax just to mattify it a little bit. Then moving on I'm taking this clown white cream makeup and I believe this is from Ben Nye. I tried to use a wedge but that didn't work out so I'm using a flat brush. And it looks kind of funny here but don't worry, it'll all make sense in the end. So I'm pretty much packing this on all over my face except the inside of the mask. Moving on to Kryolan Burn and Injury Wheel Palette. I'm taking this green ashy shade and I'm just applying that pretty much on areas where I want to contour just so my face is not completely white. And then I'm just gonna do a close up here so you guys can see the green a little bit better. Moving on to my Makeup Forever Flash Color Palette. I'm taking this black shade and I'm filling in the inside of the mask. And I'm also applying this right on top of the scar wax. I'm actually leaving out the crease area and underneath the eye area because the reference picture I'm looking at, that's pretty much white. And don't worry if it doesn't look perfect because we are gonna fill it in with something else later and moving on with the NYX Milk Pencil. I'm pretty much filling in around that area which is my crease, the tear duct underneath my eyes, the lid, you get what I'm saying. 
Then I'm taking a flat brush and I'm just pretty much spreading it, blending it so I don't crease up. And to prevent my eyelids from creasing, I'm using Motive's Blizzard eyeshadow. And I'm just applying that right where I applied the NYX Jumbo Pencil. So Harley Quinn has a very thin winged look. So here I am using Benefit's Their Real Push-Up Liner in black. So I'm going to try my best to make this look very simple. Because you know how it is with liners. Once you mess up, you just keep going till it gets thicker and thicker, right? Alright, so I guess that will do it. And then next, we are moving on to the translucent powder that we used earlier, but now with a fluffy brush. And I'm just applying this pretty much all over my face, setting that white clown cream. Now going back to Kryolan Burn and Injury Circle, I'm taking this reddish pinkish tone and I'm using this as base and I'm applying this around the mask and this part it's not meant to be neat so go crazy and now with the same palette to create a depth I'm using this maroonish color and I'm just applying this like on the random spots where I applied the first color I'm kind of going everywhere with this and I decided to do the lashes so I'm using the salon perfect number 614 and 615 lashes and I'm just packing those two together and for the mascara I'm using motives for Lala mascara and for the lips I'm using a NYX Wicked Lippies in Cold Hearted. I'm actually gonna do an ombre effect. So I'm taking my Makeup Forever Flash Palette and taking the black once again. And yeah, I'm just gonna create that ombre effect. And I guess I'm satisfied with this. And I'm moving on to the blood. I'm using Red Drum in Dark Red. And I'm taking a generous amount on a plate. And using a Q-tip to apply this around the mask area. And like I said, it's Harley Quinn with a twist. So of course, I'm going to add blood. And this doesn't have to be perfect. And there you have it. And if you decide to recreate this look, don't forget to tag me at HelloFritzy. Thank you for watching. Happy Halloween! Yeah. I hate this part. Did you get